Hi, today we're going to demo a TRS-80 Model 16 working with a solid state MFM hard drive emulator. The emulator is produced by a fellow named David Giswein and I've modified a standard TRS-80 12 meg hard drive unit and I've incorporated the solid state MFM drive into it. You can see through the vent holes all of the uh, pretty LEDs from the emulator running in there. Um, this MacBook Pro is logged into the emulator through Ethernet. So we have a command prompt there. That's how you manage your solid state hard drive instances. And then we have the TRS-80 Model 16 here. So let's get into it. So the first thing we're going to do is run a emulated 12 megabyte hard drive that contains Tristos 2 for the model 2 or 16. Just going to run that. Okay, the emulator is now running. You can see the activity light on the TRS-80 hard drive works as expected. Now we'll power up the machine. And as you can see, it's booting up off of the hard drive to Tristos 2. Awesome, works flawlessly. Okay, so let's switch operating system. Let's try to load Xenix now. So I'm just gonna kill this emulator. Now I'm gonna run a, another emulated uh, emulator instance of a, a 12 megabyte instance um, with Xenix 1.3 installed. Okay. Okay, she's up. I'm gonna reset the machine and she'll boot into Xenix. You can see the emulator log gives you details of pretty much every MFM operation that's going on in the drive. It's great for troubleshooting. And we're logged into Xenix. Great. Uh, so we'll shut down our Xenix now and we'll boot up one more operating system. We'll boot up LSVAL 6 for the Model 2. Kill the Xenix emulator and bring out the LSDOS emulated hard drive. The only thing with LSDOS is LSDOS cannot boot directly from the hard drive, so we have to boot it on the floppy. But I have an LSDOS uh, floppy uh, mounted on my floppy emulator up here. So we'll go ahead and reset the machine. Boot from the floppy. Okay. Once the floppy comes up, it will mount the LSDOS hard drive. And then we can look at our free space. And you can see we have two logical hard drives uh, mounted. So that's a quick demo of a Model 16 working with the Giswine MFM uh, heart, uh, emulator. If you have any questions, reach out. Thanks. Bye.